Welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. In this video, we are going to talk about the history of maritime law and admiralty law. Admiralty law, now known as maritime law, governs incidents that occur at sea as well as the conduct of a vessel. Many in many countries have their own laws that cover seamen, the confluence of passengers, and maritime commerce. However, multilateral treaties established many internationally recognized aspects of um, admiralty law. Because ships were one of the earliest uh, means of transportation over long distances, this rule dates back to ancient Greece. Later, Eleanor of Aquitaine brought the concept of a legal authority that regulates maritime concern to the West. She learned of this concept during the Second Crusade while accompanying King Louis VII of France to the Mediterranean. British Admiralty Courts set the basis for the term Admiralty Law as they proceeded over maritime issues as a spirit entity from the common law courts because the United States based its judicial system on that of Britain. It incorporated Admiralty Law soon after ratification of the Constitution. Maritime Law and jurisdiction. Originally, jurisdiction over maritime matters went to federal courts. Today, many maritime injury cases are heard in either state or federal courts. The Saving to Sweeters Clause in Title 28 of the United States Court 28.1333 established this option. However, this exception to this is any case that involves maritime property, uh, these cases must be tried in federal court. The most important thing to remember that is that uh, when a state court presses over a maritime case, they have to apply maritime law, not state law. This means that you need an experienced maritime injury lawyer. Houston residents often trust the Cobos law firm to handle maritime cases. Our strategic mindset and pursuit uh, of your best interest makes us a strong advocate. Contact our firm today for a free case evaluation with our maritime law attorneys. What are the features of admiralty law? Admiralty law established the foundation of the legal tenets that governs the sea as well as maritime workers. This basis tenets set a precedent for our Houston maritime lawyers to help you hold negligence parties accountable. This includes the following: seamen and creditors or uh, majors have the right to have a maritime lion against uh, vessels providing a security interest to ensure payment. Rescued have the right to claim a maritime salvage uh, award when they recover property that was lost at sea. Ship owners have a duty to provide a reasonable care to their workers and passengers. When negligent result in the injury of the passengers, that passenger has the right to bring a lawsuit against the ship owners. And then, maintenance and cure requires ship owners to care for injured crew members. Maintenance creates uh, an obligation for owners to provide seamen and maritime workers with the basic living expenses until they are able to return to work. 
On the other hand, Q requires ship owners to provide injured workers with a free medical care. This includes cases uh, of permanent or long-term care. The ship owner provides care until the seaman reaches maximum medical in medical care, which means they are as close as possible to their condition before the injury. And then what does a Houston Maritime Injury Lawyer cover? Oftentimes, maritime work is a dangerous and the injuries seamen sustain are not covered by typical workers' compensation laws of a state. A Houston Maritime Injury Lawyer can represent a seaman in various claims such as barge and cargo ship accidents, commercial fishing accident, shipyard accident, drilling rig and oil platform accident, wrongful death, and more. When looking for a maritime injury lawyer, Houston area residents recognize Cobble's law firm as an industry leader in helping seamen recover costs for injuries that have impacted their ability to work with medical bills and rehab costs as well as pain and suffering. When you work with a Houston maritime injury lawyer uh, from our firm, our attorney advocates for your best interests and hold those responsible for your injuries accountable. A Houston maritime injury lawyers can help recover full uh, cost for uh, what is that maritime accident. Our law office in Houston, Texas, offer legal representation for cases involving maritime injuries. Andrew Cobos is a Texas lawyer who represents clients after they have sustained work-related injuries or illnesses. After a serious accident, you might incur an array of different costs. These costs have immediate impact on your life. However, that impact can last for years to come. Often, these immediate effects are quite obvious, inability to work, expensive bills, pain and suffering, rehabilitation, when it comes to maritime injuries, it is not always easy to understand the long-term impact of an injury. Your Houston maritime lawyers advocate for you to recover crucial damages that can help in the event of lifelong medical attention. Moreover, it's hard to know the long-term effects, which means you need to be prepared. Maritime law or maintenance and cure and offshore a uh, work-related injury can be devastating, not just because of the injury itself, but also for your ability to continue to meet your financial obligation. Maintenance and cure laws help you to ensure the injured party's medical and rehabilitation bills are paid as well as basic day-to-day -day living expenses during the recuperation period. If you have been sidelined by a maritime injury and are in a needed a maritime injury lawyer. Houston has a top legal resources in Cobos Law Firm. A Houston maritime injury lawyer from Cobos Law understands maintenance and cure laws and what is required to put together a solid case for your court. Rest assured, when you engage a Houston maritime injury lawyer from Cobos Law Firm, you are in a good hands. How a Jones Act lawyer can help you as any good Houston maritime injury lawyers know, uh, the Jones Act compensates injured maritime workers for loss earning, medical expenses, and pain and suffering. The compensation in each of these categories, however, is not a simple matter to determine. How does one fairly determine future races, permissions, and benefits? What future medical costs might arise from an injury? How do you put a price on mental anguish? If you sustain a work-related injury while working as a seaman in navigable waters, you need an advocate. You need advice and representation of a personal injury lawyers who understand maritime law and the Jones Act in particular. When you are in need of a maritime injury lawyer, Houston is well served by the Cobos Law Firm. Our experts know how to fairly determine and present this unknown in court in order to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. I think that's all guys information that I can share to you. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share this video to your friends too.
Don't forget to give like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. See you in another video, guys.